Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, I'm going to be announcing the upcoming release of this. This is the Hooch Multibucket. This is an injection molded design that in collaboration with the boys at Kegland and based on my 3D printable Hooch Bucket designs, we have developed to be injection molded and released to the public, to you guys, so that you can grow produce hydroponically at home in multiple ways that will allow you to adapt the use of this bucket to your growing style as well as the conditions and requirements of your lifestyle and environment. All the links will be in the description of the video and when it becomes available for purchase, you can click on those links and it will take you to the product page. So first, let's just have a little recap of how the hooch bucket system works and I can get into the explanation of why we've developed this product. This is the hooch bucket hydroponic system. This is a hydroponic system that I designed myself on a 3D modeling program to be printed at home with a 3D printer by you. So this was actually my first design using 3D CAD technology. The nutrients top themselves up so that you can just place this system and set and forget we're going to utilize the rain gutter grow system channels. These systems allow the pots to wick up from the bottom gutter and it automatically refills the pots. In this reservoir is hydroponic nutrient and it gravity feeds down to this float switch here. And as the plants use up the water and nutrient within the system, this float switch lowers, it gravity feeds down into this pipe, which is sealed at both ends. And due to the wicking effect that the cocoa perlite has, when this neck cup is dropped into this hole, the water and nutrient then wick up into the pot, making it available to the plants. Okay, so there's obviously quite a lot going on here. There's multiple rain gutter grow systems of different types. I'm gonna take you through a time-lapse of these rain gutter grow systems, the original ones with the hooch buckets, moving into these rain gutter grow systems, which have been set up for about seven days now. And we're gonna have a look at the growth in those systems. And we'll finish with the growth in the round pipe rain gutter grow system and how it's done so far over the last few weeks.
So as you can see with the outcome of those hooch bucket experiments, I was extremely happy with the results that those buckets were able to achieve. So I wanted to go down a path that would allow me to open this style of growing to as many people as I possibly could and understanding that 3D printers aren't something that exists within every household. I wanted to get those designs injection molded. With this in mind, Key Dory, who is the director and head of product development over at the home brewing online store and distributor that is Kegland, approached me with the idea of injection molding a version of the hooch bucket that we could develop together in such a way that it would be compact easy to post, versatile in its applications, and most importantly, productive in enabling people to grow their own food at home in a wide range of circumstances. So we started to develop the Hooch Multi-Bucket. Now, this multi-bucket can be used in a variety of ways, and I'm going to walk you through those now. Understanding that not everyone has the same style of gutter available to them, we wanted to make the bucket adapt to the style of rain gutter system that you have available to you in your country. So for the Australians, it is the 50 by 100, and for the Americans, it's the two vinyl sizes that you have variously available across different states. To achieve this, I handed my designs over to Dom, who is their lead designer. He came up with the idea of a base which is adaptable to the style of gutter that you want to have it above. So Dom is an absolute gun and he designed the feet of the system so that it would fit onto the small vinyl downpipe that you have available in the Americas in one orientation and in the other orientation it fits the Australian downpipe. Not only that, if we then remove the legs of this system like so, because this orientation is actually too short for the larger American downpipe sizing, we can flip these upside down like so, and we have a bucket that is large enough to sit over the top of our larger size of American vinyl piping. This allows us to drop a two inch net cup into our vinyl tubing, which then sits down in the nutrient solution, which will exist within this pipe. And the same goes for both of the other sizes of vinyl tubing. This makes the one product able to be adapted to all countries. This arrangement means that you can use these as not only reservoirs for the rain gutter grow system like we saw in the first part of the video, but these can also be used as returns for a Dutch bucket style of system. This is because on the bottom where our standard two inch net cup pushes through and sits within a lip in the base of the container. There is also a lip at the bottom and this allows you to drop this lip into our vinyl pipe and that will allow us to have a return for a Dutch bucket style top feeding system. So you would still use the net cup to maintain the media within this system. However, you would top feed and use your vinyl tubing to return the nutrient to a reservoir rather than having a passive wicking hydroponic system, you could have a Dutch bucket style recirculating hydroponic system made entirely of the hooch multi-bucket. So this multi-bucket here is actually a prototype. The end product will probably be a black bucket that will stop light from penetrating into the system and it will also be injection molded. This is a 
3D print prototype of the Hooch multi-bucket that we had mocked up so that we could have a physical model that we could play with and get a feel for how the system will look and work. Now, you can see that the bucket actually has a ton of accessory points here. So this is a 16 millimeter hole and there are other holes and points that will allow rods to be stuck through the system and the orientation of the system can be changed so that you can actually stack the system with 16 millimeter rods holding it in place in a vertical fashion so that the system drains from one down to the next and you can have the system set up in a vertical stacked fashion. These are also going to be used as accessory points for accessories that we will down the line also injection mold and I will probably end up releasing prototypes to be 3D printed at home for those that have both the injection molded buckets and a 3D printer. The purpose of this video is to get an idea for the reaction of you. We want to know what you think how you would use the bucket if you're interested in the bucket. So let us know in the comments below because this is a feeler video to see how the public reacts to this idea. Would you be interested? And this is kind of the first step towards getting all of the designs that I've designed to be 3D printed to be released to the public as injection molded products that can be spread through the community and made widely available, hopefully rather cheaply through the websites that I will link in the description, including Kegland's new website, Hydroland, which we will be releasing this product on once it becomes ready for distribution. So Key actually has one of these buckets set up at his greenhouse on the top of his apartment building. And it has browned because these are just prototypes. They're not UV stable yet, but it is doing its job within a rain gutter grow system perfectly. And I am super excited to get my hands on some myself so that I can start making multiple videos of the multiple applications of this design within new system designs that I'm super excited to come up with and test out with you. So what do you think? Would you be interested in a reasonably priced hooch multi-bucket injection molded hydroponic system? Let me know in the comments below, like this video, share this video, and I guess I'll see you next time on Hoochos. <laughs> I am so excited for this. <laughs> uh.